Hello everyone, this is Dr. Demi. I know we haven't spoken in a really long time. I haven't done a video, I believe, since May or June, thereabouts. Um, but I hope those of you who wrote the exams in June 2022 are looking forward to your results and you're really excited. I am looking forward to your results and I hope that you all have good news to share. This is not a teaching video. I'm not teaching in this video. As you can see, I am in a new country. Um, just sitting on the carpet in my bedroom and recording this video on my phone and the point of this video is just to say thank you to everybody uh, this is a reflective video because on this day two years ago I sat in front of my computer in the thick of the pandemic I was going through a really tough time mentally because I was very stressed and um, it was a time when I had I had a lot of major decisions to make and I had made the moves to make some of those things happen, but they didn't work out. And in the midst of that, I had students who were preparing to write the May June 2021 exams. And these were students who I had not taught during the AS level year, so I didn't teach them during their first year of the A level course. I was only teaching them in their second year, and they were telling me about how they really needed help with revising their first year content. So I sat in my apartment um, back then, which is where I lived back in the day, back then in that year. And I thought to myself, well, I guess the best way to do this without compromising the quality of their A-level education is that I could create something that enables them to study asynchronously, which basically means they can study on their own. They can go there wherever, they, whenever they feel like it and be able to access content. And so I sat in my room and I said, OK, I will record the AS level biology content only and put that on this channel just so that my students can have access to it. And I did that. And I'm sure those of you who started this channel with me, who have been with me since the beginning of this journey, will remember that this channel was originally called Cambridge AS Biology with Dr. Demi. And if you listen to my earlier videos, you will realize that that's all what I was harping on, that I was only going to record from chapters one to chapter 11, because the focus again was just to make it easy for my students to revise. That um, obviously snowballed into something that I did not expect. It snowballed into this channel where students were beginning to ask me, please record the A-level content. We need your help. Please do past paper videos. And today it has been two years and this channel is now more than 10,000 subscribers strong. I have received the most beautiful, appreciative emails and comments from all of you just telling me how wonderful this channel has been and how helpful it has been for you. And I'm just like super grateful, first of all, to my students for pushing me enough for me to say, you know, I will do this. I will create this channel, but also to each and every one of you who has come on the channel, learned something, subscribed and shared it with your friends. I don't take it for granted and you know I was thinking recently because I had an interview and I was practicing for this interview and one of the practice questions that came up on the software tool I was using was what would you consider one of your biggest successes and I think before this channel I used to say well you know I really think that me going through my PhD in engineering. Yes, for those of you who don't know, I'm not a medical doctor. Um, I have a PhD in engineering, but an undergrad in biology. Um, I used to think that going through my PhD in engineering was my biggest success. Um, and I still consider it one of my biggest successes because like I said, my undergrad was in biology and not engineering. But I think that having a channel like this that has impacted so many people and seeing it reach so many of you across the world, not just not just within a, a small space. I'm like I, I mean, I could sit on the world map and put a dot, first of all, within Africa of all the countries where I've taught a student, but also reach out to like other places in Asia um, where students have said, listen, thank you so much for, for helping us with this. And for that, I'm really grateful. And uh, I think that that makes it one of my biggest successes because it's the one that I think has had one of the greatest impacts on everyone. So I just decided to record this video just to let you all know how this started. It started in the, my little room with me at the peak of frustration um, with all my plans falling through because of the pandemic, not able to move to a place I wanted to move to, to move to a new job that I wanted, um, but still being able to 
you know, have the impact that I've had because all of you supported me and you were all there. And I just want to say, just in case my students from um, ALA, because I used to work at ALA, um, ever watch this, I want to say thank you to all of you. I hope that our time together was great because um, I'll tell you one thing, and this is not really a secret. I think one of you cracks this during my first year that even though uh, I love explaining things to students and making things simple, teaching is not my passion. <laughs> so it has been the most pleasant surprise that even though it's not something that I considered my passion, that I've been able to reach to reach out to all of you and hopefully positively impacted your lives and helped you along with your education. And I'm, I'm, gr I'm, gr I'm grateful that I got to do it. And I'm also glad that you all gave me the opportunity to build relationships with you and, you know, help you through your journey. So yeah, that's it. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what I'm up to, I recently moved to a new country. I switched to a career in public policy. So that's the hat I'm wearing now because I, as much as I, as teaching has been great, I love problem solving more than anything else. And public policy is a space that allows me to do that really well. So I've moved to a new country. I am, you know, currently again in transit, trying to figure things out. So hopefully things work out. And, um, you know, this is one of those things that I didn't look back on maybe in a year's time. I don't want this one to take two years. Um, in a year's time, and I can say, oh, this was a great decision, or this was a great thing that happened. Um, and yeah, to celebrate this two year thing, I created a workbook. So it's a revision, it's a revision workbook. I've only created the AS level um, version of it, but I will create the A level version if the AS level version does well. Created an AS level workbook kit where you can basically buy the book on Amazon. It's an ebook. I haven't made it a physical book at all. It's an ebook, so you can buy it on Amazon and it's available on all Amazon platforms. You can go to Amazon.com, the code UK, the CA, whichever Amazon, you can go there and you'll be able to find this workbook. It's only ten dollars, it's nine ninety-nine, and you just download it and you can open it on your computer. So Amazon has something called a cloud reader. And you can open a cloud reader on any device, your mobile phone, your laptop. You don't need to have the Amazon Kindle tablet and um, tablet. So I've created that. Please download it um, and use it. The videos I will be recording going forward will be um, from that workbook. So I will be answering some of the questions from the workbook. And I hope that that's helpful, especially for students who are preparing for October, November. So yeah, that's it. This is, um, I hope that you can find the link. I'll post the link under this video um, to the workbook. But again, this is just to say thank you so much to every single one of you for the support that you've given Cambridge AS Level Biology with Dr. Demi, which then became Cambridge AS and A Level Biology with Dr. Demi, which is now Cambridge A Level Biology with Dr. Demi. Um, I am Dr. Demi. I'm the Dr. Demi that you hear on the slides, that you um, see in the shorts videos that I used to do, and that I hope to get back to get back to soon. I just need to settle in and get my bearings right before I I plunge myself into this. But again, just want to say thank you. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers in two years. It has been an amazing two years and I'm so glad I've been of help. To those of you who have sent me appreciation emails saying thank you and just letting me know how helpful this channel has been. Your emails on many days really made my day and made me feel like the work that I put in while I was recording all the videos for AS for the channel um, were worth it, was worth it rather. Um, I remember somewhere halfway through, I think I was on chapter 7, loading videos onto the channel and recording them because again, I was working throughout the pandemic. Um, I had to work all through. Um, I didn't get a break that the teachers would typically break, get like, I mean, all the teachers at the school didn't get a break. So we worked all through the pandemic. So it was the height of frustration. Like I said, plans didn't work out. I had made so many plans and so many moves that I'd set in place and the pandemic just came and destroyed everything. So I think somewhere around chapter seven, I reached out to a friend and I said, this is so much work. I don't know why I committed to it, but I want to say the appreciation that started to come through from the students who were using the channel, from people saying, thank you so much, Dr. Demi, for making this happen. Thank you for putting this out there and for teaching us the way that you do. 
kept me going and led me all the way to chapter 19 and through all of those past paper videos and some of the lives that I have done. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all do well in the upcoming October, November exams. And for those of you who wrote in May, June, I know your results are coming out this August. And I hope that it's all good news. Okay, please share your results with us on the channel. Just post it somewhere in the comments or send me an email. I'm always happy to read from all of you. Thank you all so much and have a good day and have a good and wonderful August and um, have a good term ahead because I hear that your term starts in September. Like I said, I no longer teach. Public policy is my forte now. All right, everyone, that's it from me. Have a good time. Goodbye.